Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. We discussed in the previous video about the improving of a string efficiency, the methods of improving the string efficiency. I hope you've got it. Now those, we talked about three disc string. Let's say today we analyze a disc, uh, analyze a string of four discs, right? So, so let's say this is my tower and I have what? This is my first disc, second, third, fourth, and this is my line voltage V. This is grounding structure, the tower which is fine, yes. These are my straight capacitances. This is let's say C, 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 C. This one is a 20% of C, 0.2 C. Fine, yes. The voltage drop across this is V1, this is V2, this is V3, this is V4. The currents are I1, I2, I3 and I4. The leakage currents over here are IA, IB and I have an IC over here as well. Now let us analyze. So again, as we saw in the previous videos, the method is the same. It's only the Kirchhoff's current law. KCL2 node number one. I1 is my entering current. I1 is equal to I2 plus IA. I2 and I are the leaving currents. I1 is omega C V1. I2 is omega C V2 and plus I1 is 0.1 omega C, 0.2 omega C and the voltage across this is this one V2 plus V3 plus V4 or V minus a V1. Fine, yes. Now omega C cancels out, V1 is equal to V2 plus 0.2 V minus a 0.2 V1. Or I can write that my V2 is equal to uh, V1, 1.2 V1 minus 0.2 V. Let this be my equation number one. I've got V2 in terms of V1 and V. KCL do not number two. Says what? The entering current is I2 and the leaving currents are I3 and IB. The sum of entering is the sum of leaving. I2 is omega C V2. I3 is omega C V3 plus IB is what? Have a look. 0.2 omega C and the voltage across this would be V3 plus a V4 or a total V minus a V1 plus V2. So I would go for the minus. V minus V1 minus a V2. Isn't it like this? It is. Omega C cancels out. V2 is equal to V3 plus 0.2 V minus 0.2 V1 minus 0.2 V2. 1.2 V2. V3 is equal to 1.2 V2 uh, plus 0.2 V1 minus 0.2 V. Isn't it like this? Just let me have a look. Uh, V3 is equal to node number, node number what? Y. I, omega C V3 V2 is equal to yes. So you have what? V3 is equal to 1.2 V2 plus 0.2 V1 minus 0.2 V. Yes. Yes. Now you can put the value of V2 over here put the value of V2, so V3 would be equal to 1.2 times 1.2 V1 minus 0.2 V plus 0.2 V1 minus 0.2 V again. So just do the calculations please. Do this multiplication by yourself. Eventually my V3 would come out to be, eventually V3 comes out to be 1.64 V1 
1.64 v1 minus 0.44 v let this be my equation number 2 isn't it like this it is similarly now I have my node number 3 kcl to my node number 3 would give me what i3 is the entering current and i4 is the leaving current ic is the leaving current omega c v3 omega c v4 plus ic is what 0.2 omega c and again i have is v4 why because these are all the same points so I have a look if this is connected across these two means connected across these two the voltage is V4. So what do you have is uh, 1.2 uh, V4 is equal to V3 or I would say that V4 is equal to V3 divided by 1.4 which means what you've got 1.64 V1. It is it like this or it is not just let me check. Uh, 1.2 it is 1.2 sorry. This is 1.2. So V3 is equal to 1.2, right? So this would be a 1.64 V1 minus 0.44 V and whole divided by 1.2, which will give me my value of V4. And this would be equal to what? 1.36 V1 minus 0.36 V. This is let's say my equation number 3. Have a look. I've got my V1, uh, my, I've got my V2, V3 and V4 in terms of V and V1. Now my principal equation states what? That as the total voltage V is being divided into V1 plus V2 plus V3 plus V4. Isn't it like this? It is. So I put all the values and I will get my V1 in terms of V. So I will put the values. V is equal to V1 plus V2 is 1.2 V1 minus 0.2 V plus V3 is 1.64 V1 minus 0.44 V plus V3 V4 is what 1.36 V1 minus 0.36 V isn't it like this it is and I have just written it directly over here just let me let me check uh, V is equal to so have a look go for V1 1 2.2 or I will just take the help of the calculator. What do you have is 1 plus 1.2 plus 1.64 plus 1.36. 1.36. This is 5.2 V1. 5.2 V1 and equal to uh, 1 V. This is 1 plus. Uh, now go for the V term 0 0.2 plus. Uh, 0.44 I'm shifting it to the other side and plus 0.36 so this is equal to 2 this is equal to 2 is it right uh, well it is it is so this is equal to 2 times V or I will write that V1 is equal to 2 uh, upon 5.2 times V and 2 divided by 5.2 would give me 0.38 or my V1 is 0 0.38 times V. V1 is 0 0.38 times V. Now I've got my V1. You can put it over here to get your V2. So 1 implies what? That V2 is equal to 1.2 multiplied by V1 which is 0 0.38 and minus a 0 0.2 V. So this is equal to 0 0.256. 0.256 V. Similarly, your equation 2 implies what? That V3 is equal to this one. 1.64 multiplied by 0 0.38 which is V1 and then minus 0 0.44. So this is 0.1832. So 0.18 times a V. And similarly, my equation number 3 would give me my V4, which is equal to 1.36 multiplied by 0 0.38 and then minus 0 0.36, which is 0 0.15.
0.15 times V. Okay, now I have it written over here. Let me check if this is correct. 0 0.38, 0 0.22, 0 0.18 and 0.15. Yes, so these are correct. So have a look again. V1 is greater than V2 is greater than V3 is greater than V4, which means this is a non-uniform voltage distribution. The V1 is the disk number one is at a risk of a failure. So what do you have is a lower string efficiency. Now the string efficiency is the total voltage V divided by the number of disks multiplied by the voltage which is nearest. So V1 is nearest. So I have V upon 4 is the number of disks and 0.38 times V. So this gives me my string efficiency to be equal to what? To be equal to 65%. Uh, to be equal to a 65% percent fine yes now this is video number one where i have not used my guard ring let's say in the next video i use my guard ring and i check again for the improvement in the string efficiency and a little bit of uniformity in the string in the voltages right so till then take care goodbye